Hey, what's up YouTube, MJVR96 here with Windows Help Live with a new Photoshop tutorial for you guys today. So, um, today's tutorial is going to be all about how to remove watermarks from a picture. Now, um, before we get started, I just want to say here that, um, as far as removing watermarks, they're there for reasons because somebody has a copyrighted photo that they obviously don't want you using. So, um, but, you know, if it's a simple photo where you might just be making it in the background of your computer or something like that, you're not really going to use it for anything to make money off of or anything like that, it's a little bit different. So, uh, anyway, what you're going to need for the tutorial if you're following along is basically just a photo with a watermark on it. So, um, let's get started. Basically, you're just going to import your photo here into Photoshop and zoom it in nice and close. Probably got to zoom it in a little bit closer here. What you're going to do is you're going to grab your clone tool, that's right over here if you don't know what that is. Um, you're going to grab your clone tool and you're going to want a fairly small brush for this. Somewhere around a 10 is what I have. Um, and the clone tool, just a quick overview how that works, is you click Alt and... Actually, hold on one sec, let me show you guys, give you guys a quick lesson in the clone tool using a different picture. Real quick, we'll go into... Here. Alright, that looks pretty quick. Okay, let's use this picture here in John Landis. Let's drop it in here. Okay, and let me just show you guys. We'll do the same thing. The clone tool, what the clone tool does is it allows you to take something. And duplicate it and put it somewhere else. So essentially, what that means is you grab your clone tool, and what you do is oh, there's a little bit larger brush for this. Is suppose we want to duplicate my eye. We'll hold the brush over my eye, click Alt, and then just click. Now, if we take the brush, we can brush on a single eye right on my forehead and then with a little clean up tool and we're not going to sit and spend a whole bunch of time with a little cleaning up it would come out to make me look like I was like Frankenstein or something like that the third eye but anyway the point of it is not to do that the point is to get rid of this watermark so how we're going to do that is once again we're going to take our clone tool we're zoomed in here uh, we'll go back down to like a size 10 we'll start with a 15 um, and what we're going to do is, like I said, click Alt, and we're going to take an area of the cement, we want to get start by getting rid of the C, so we'll take an area over here of the cement, and we will place it over here. Now, if you watch um, the little X thing that I've got moving here now, that shows you where you are cloning from. So if you're getting close to another object or something, you're going to want to stop. So, okay, we pretty well got rid of the C there. So, um, now we'll go on to the O. Same thing, what you're going to want to do is go back over here. We're going to click Alt, select another nice area, and we will close that out naturally. And get rid of that. And so on and so forth with the P. So, now what we're going to try to do is we're going to attempt to get rid of our r part of our r here um now this is going to be a little bit harder because we cannot take we can only take little tiny pieces at a time so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom well actually we'll just clone zoom in it and kind of just have to take it like one little circle at a time and just kind of get it all in there and it takes a lot of time and practice basically to make it look really good and you know, it just honestly can't be done with certain pictures. But, um, here's where you can get the gist of it. And, you know, you can always use, um, the spot healing, healing tool. You know, that sometimes helps clean it up a little bit. I just did it in that spot tool. But, um, you know, that always helps a little bit. Sometimes that always helps. Makes 
make it look a little bit nicer, you know, but, um, yeah, with a lot of time and practice and everything, you know, you really could get it done, but like I said, guys, you know, it's there for a reason, so you probably want to abide by it, but I'll show you guys another quick little thing is we'll try to put these cracks back in here. helps it a little bit and you know I mean it's not gonna obviously be the best thing but if you zoom out it doesn't actually look that bad you know I'll forget the part in here but you know our part over here the cement that we cleaned up really doesn't look all that bad so a little more time and effort you could probably get this looking pretty darn good so like I said guys it's there for a reason if you're just gonna use make it for a background or something like that or something like that you know I can't really see the harm in it, but, you know, if you're going to be doing it for something serious, probably not a good idea. So, um, anyway, guys, like I said, just a quick little tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you guys comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Getting closer to that giveaway. Tell all your friends about us, and uh, send us a quest on tutorials you guys want to see. Alright, thanks, guys, for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe.